Good afternoon to all of you. Reflecting on our readings today, particularly the Gospel, naalala ko po yung isa sa mga nilalaro ko at baka marami po dito sa atin ay nalaro na rin ng mga bata tayo. Di ko lang po alam ko ang mga kabataan natin ngayon ay nilalaro pa ito. Di ba meron tayong game ng mga bata tayo that we used to play a game called hide and seek na no? one child will say eat and would cover his eyes and turn his back and while the playmates would run and hide agtatago at hahanapin ng taya yung mga nagtago. At the count of ten, the eat would seek and try to find his hidden companions. Sometimes, one would find such a good hiding place that he could not be found. May e mga magagaling magtago Kaya kung minsan, hindi nakikita at nauhuli yung kalaro na nagtatago. I remember this game, my dear brothers and sisters, because God does not deliberately hide Himself from us. But by His very nature, as a pure spirit or unseen spirit, he is a hidden God. We cannot find Him or know Him by our own efforts, although we can discover His existence and some things about Him through reason and by observing His creation. In the first reading today, we heard how God revealed Himself to Moses in the burning bush. And He even revealed His name or said that I am the God of your father. And He continued the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. In the Gospel, we also heard Jesus expresses his thanks to the Father for revealing himself and his message to the humble and little ones and not to the wise, proud, and mighty. Jesus himself is the revelation of God according to St. Paul. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. And Jesus went out his way to reach out to the last, the least, and the lost. He told us that when or he told us that we must become like little children if we want to enter the kingdom of God. My dear brothers and sisters, if you will notice and observe all the apparitions of Mary were to the simple and unlearned. Like yesterday, we celebrated St. Catherine of Labore, the first apparition of Mary to her. She is also simple and unlearned, but the Blessed Mother appeared to her. Like San Juan Diego 
in Guadalupe or Bernadette in Lourdes and the children at Fatima. Even Moses was said to be the most patient and humble of men. If we want to know and get close to God, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to be humble and admit our sinfulness and helplessness. Only then will Jesus show us the Father. He who humbles himself will not only be exalted, but will be enlightened as well.